All right, everybody. This isn't exactly going to be a foraging video, but I wanted to show you how beautiful a certain area can be. Now, where I'm at right now, it's an area that in my video I uploaded first from a few months ago where I was foraging wild blackberries, this is one of the spots I came to. And obviously it's past season for that. Um, all the blackberries have either been picked and died or the bushes are dying for right now. Or at least getting ready for the winter. And I just want to show you how beautiful it can be in an area of dead blackberry bushes. Now, if anybody wants to tell me what these yellow fuzzy pods are on these leaves, comment below. Now, something cool I noticed is some of the path that I made, both right here and there's one over there that's more obvious that I made last time I was up here like three months ago picking blackberries. Here's one right here. You can kind of notice it. It starts right here, goes up that way, right there, and curves around a little bit over there. Then part of one goes up to about right there. Because honestly, like, even though this is thinned out a lot now, um, Back when I was picking over the summer, this was thick as hell. Like, you couldn't, like, make it past maybe, like, 20 feet up in there without getting obliterated by thorns on the blackberry bushes. So, I mean, it was pretty nice. Whenever I came up here a few times and to another spot at the park I'm at, um, both spots combined here on both sides of this trail and the other spot... There were probably hundreds upon hundreds of bushes, and I probably picked about a good seven, eight hundred blackberries within the two times I came here. Here is one of the other paths that I had made last time I was here. Uh, as you can see, it starts right here, goes up right up there, and I think there's a little piece that goes off to the left, like right in that area, and then it curves up like that way. So I'm going to go up in here a little bit and give you a better shot at that and probably give you a round view. So you can see the trail is like probably about 10 feet down that way. Stopped about right here. Probably went in a little bit that way before, when I came here last time. And then you can see where it goes up right here and it goes around to about a little bit past, see this little spot right here next probably went a little bit past that way. And the cool thing about it though is, even though this is a public trail, coming off to the side of the main bridge at the entrance of this park. Not many people come down this trail, so if you're gonna pick blackberries, a few people might come through here and grab a couple as a try them out. But you don't really have many people coming through here, so you don't have to worry about other people. I mean, it'd be nice, because it's kind of like the blackberries are yours to take, whatever, look at. But you don't have to worry about many other people taking many of the good ones. So that's a good thing. And I know next year, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna get a lot more probably a little bit later closer to August because I think I came in July mid late June early July last time 
and I'll probably come closer to August next year and, because that's whenever they're really starting to, you know, bulk out, pulp out, and you're going to get a lot more of the good ones, so I know I'm going to do that. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a nice, peaceful area. And obviously, I'm in a state park area, so you got these telephone poles going down this way, these wires going down. So, you know, it's nice to look at those. And sometimes on a hot day, you'll hear like the static going off of them, which is pretty cool to hear that too. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned to more nature studies of wild plants and more foraging videos that we make in the future. Peace out. P.S. for this video also. Um, the other Blackberry video I had mentioned is, um, I guess, non existent on my computer anymore. I'm here doing some editing, so I was going to go search for that video. And um, I remember there being a cluster of videos that I had deleted at one point because I didn't see any more relevance in having them because they were taking up space on my computer and I needed to free some space up. Well, I guess that was one of the videos I deleted. So you won't be seeing that, but you'll be um, next year whenever I go and do some blackberry scavenging then. You'll get to see that spot that I visited today, and it'll be pretty exciting. Peace out.